What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today I wanna to clear up some confusion surrounding smart home hubs and home automation, so stay tuned. So first I wanna start with the Amazon Echo devices since it can be pretty tricky since they have a lot of devices out right now. So Echo devices are gonna allow you to use your voice to ask questions, use multiple Echo hubs as a home intercom system, control an Amazon Fire TV device with your voice, or you can even do multi-room or whole home music when you have more than one of them. And when an Echo device is linked with a third party device such as a home automation hub like SmartThings or Philips Hue, you can use your voice to control lights and other devices. So in October of 2017, Amazon released a new Echo device known as the Echo Plus. So the Echo Plus looks like a silver Amazon Echo, but it has Zigbee support built into it. This means you can buy the Zigbee devices and control them directly without the need to buy an additional hub like Philips Hue or SmartThings. However, the downside to the Echo Plus is that there's no real easy way to set up actual automated tasks, so it's not really a good option if you're looking for real home automation. Now to be fair, this is the first device from Amazon that has Zigbee support, so they'll probably be adding more features to it in the future. So the next hub we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Google Home. So the Google Home has Google Assistant built into it, which does a much better job at answering questions than Alexa, since it's connected directly to Google's search engine. The Google Home also has actual voice recognition, so it can determine the difference between your voice and other people in your household. And just like the Echo allows you to control Fire TV devices with your voice, you can control Chrome Chromecast devices with your voice on the Google Home. This is gonna include playing YouTube or Netflix videos on a Chromecast, or you can even do whole home music with it if you have more than one. Now the Google Home doesn't have support for Zigbee or Z-Wave built into it, so if you wanna control other smart devices in your home, you will need to link it with a home automation hub like SmartThings. Another thing to note is that it doesn't link with as many Wi-Fi based devices as the Amazon Echo, so that is something to keep in mind. All right, so the next hub I wanna talk about is Philips Hue. So Philips Hue is a smart hub that allows you to control Philips Hue light bulbs and Philips Hue lamps. Now at the moment, it is limited only to lighting, but it does have some really cool functions like allowing you to set bulbs to a wide array of colors at certain times or based on other events as well. So Philips Hue is a popular option for people who want smart lighting in their house, but don't wanna deal with installing light switches, especially since it's so simple to install since all you need to do is wire up the hub and screw the light bulbs in. Now there are two downsides to Philips Hue. One is the lack of support for other sensors and switches, and the other downside is related to smart bulbs. So since Philips Hue uses smart bulbs, you won't be able to control them remotely if someone physically turns off the light switch. Now Philips does sell remote switches to alleviate this issue and considering how easy it is to set up this hub it's a great option if all you care about is lighting all right so the next hub I want to talk about is easily the most powerful of all of these hubs and that's the Samsung SmartThings hub so SmartThings not only has Zigbee Z-Wave and third-party Wi-Fi device support built into it but it also links with nearly every smart hub and smart device out there it's also a true home automation hub meaning you can control devices based on an action or the state of another device. So for example, I have my garage door program to close automatically if I leave it open, turn off all the lights, and turn on the house alarm when I leave the house. I also have it programmed to call and text me if one of my water sensors detects water. And since it supports both Z-Wave and Zigbee, you have the option of installing either smart bulbs or installing a Z-Wave light switch to control a bunch of lights, which would be more inexpensive than buying several smart bulbs. Now the downside to SmartThings is that it is a bit difficult to set up the automation tasks and the interface is a bit overwhelming for some people. But right now it is the best option for full home automation in my opinion. And the last hub I wanna talk about is the Logitech Harmony Hub. So the Harmony Hub allows you to use your phone to control your TV, home theater, or any device that uses an infrared remote. And if you link it with an Echo or Google Home, you can use your voice to control these devices, including changing to your favorite channels or even adjusting the volume. Now the Harmony Hub doesn't support Zigbee or Z-Wave by itself, but it does link with several other smart hubs to allow it to control lights and other devices. Now you can buy the optional Harmony Hub extender, which connects to the Harmony Hub and allows it to directly control Zigbee and Z-Wave devices, but the interface and functionality is lacking, so I wouldn't recommend it for advanced home automation. Now the downsides to the Harmony Hub is that since it's using infrared to control your TV, just like your regular remote, you'll need to put a Harmony Hub in each room that has a TV that you want to control. And the other thing is that since it's cloud-based like all the other hubs, if you lose internet, you won't be able to control your TV, so you definitely don't want to throw away your original remote. 
All right, guys, hopefully that answers any questions you had about some of the popular smart hubs out there. And I will be doing a smart home tour that I've been putting off for quite some time. So definitely look out for that in the next few weeks. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below in the comment section. I'll respond to your questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. On Desa. Allegra. Clarissa. Manita. Angela. Alessandra. Emilia, where did I put the phone? <sighs> the phone is in your right hand. <laughs>